What's up guys, welcome back to the Pat Cave. We've got another unboxing for you today. This is one of my most anticipated uh, toys for this year. I pre-ordered this last year. This is from Trick or Treat Studios. This is a prop replica of Billy the Puppet from Saw and it's just came out. I just got it in today. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and do a little unboxing for you right after this. So last year, Trick or Treat Studios teased this at one of their, one of the conventions, I think it was Monster Palooza maybe, but they had already released this saw puppet, a replica of Billy, and that one had like a latex head and it was posable, but, um, and I had seen one in person, I think when I was in LA one time, and I don't know, it was okay. I wasn't too thrilled about it, but then when I saw this one, this looks a lot more accurate to what the movie has. I pre-ordered it and I think it was just shipped out on the 31st and just came in today. So I'm gonna go ahead and do an unboxing for you. Um, this is the deluxe version, which was, I wanna say maybe like, I don't wanna say double the price, but it was a lot more expensive than the original version that they released. And that one is kind of just static. It didn't move or do anything. This one's supposed to have light up eyes. I think the mouth moves and it also does two phrases or one phrase and then it does like the laugh. Pretty excited to show it to you guys. So I'll go ahead and uh, do a little unboxing right now. And this is the package that comes in. It's pretty big. I want to say this is about maybe like 35, 40 inches. Yeah, let's see here. Where's my knife? So I want to make sure I get the whole thing in frame. This box is pretty big. So uh, let's see. All right. Let's go ahead and put this out of here. So this is what you've got inside the box. And there's actually a really cool little display window here. Hopefully that's kind of coming in clear. Let me cut this wrap off. Man, I can already tell this looks miles better than the and i'm not trying to hate on the anyone else that has the other version it was cool still but i think it just i didn't like the idea of it having like a foam head i feel like in my experience when i've had stuff like that it kind of just starts to get softer and sort of wears down faster i like something that's like a hard plastic at least if anything um, else resin preferably or something that's going to be around for a while Oh man, yeah, this is, I can already see the paint on this. It's really nice. Opening this stuff, sometimes I feel like a kid, like on Christmas, like with the Proton Pack from Ghostbusters, it kind of had a similar feeling. So there we go. And hopefully that's kind of uh, visible. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. So uh, I've got the display window, the box, and let's go ahead and pull him out of here. I think I might just put him on the end of my workbench here. The presentation table, as I call it. And he's got some good weight to him too. You can tell it's not just, you know, foam or whatever. It's like, it's definitely got a little bit of weight. Let's see. I know a lot of collectors keep their boxes and stuff. I never did. I just kind of toss the packaging usually, unless it's something like ultra high dollar. But 
even then it's it's for me i don't have a huge amount of space i'm working with as you can tell from this room now let's see here so let's go ahead and he's got he's kind of like locked in this little thing here and he's secured by zip ties on the back so we're just going to go ahead and cut those off of there One, and let's see here. There we go. And it looks like he's taped in there for the rest. Ah, right, there we go. And I don't see anything else in the packaging that we're gonna need. So, man, he's even got the shoes. The shoes look right too. Uh, that was one thing on the other replica they did that a lot of the small details, like the shoes weren't, didn't look quite accurate. The original shoes were like these uh, Mary Jane slippers, I think came from, uh, where was it? I want to say Target. I think they were Circo brand. I remember seeing that online somewhere, but looks like he's got some kind of hairnet on to keep his hair from going crazy. So I'll go ahead and hold it up here so you guys can take a look. Really nice detail on the paint. The hair looks perfect. Uh, one thing that always bothered me about the other version they did too was the bow tie on the old one was kind of um, I looked oversized almost. Uh, the suit kind of just didn't look super fitted. Um, this one's got the, the correct shoes. This has the nice gloves and everything. You can tell the arms are poseable. And it said it's supposed to be weighted too in the body so you can sit it down. So let me go ahead and take some video here so you guys can see what, uh, see what everything looks like. What does this say? Press here. It's got a press here button on his hand too so we'll test that out all right so he's got this button on his hand too that says press here so i'm going to go ahead and press that and see how the i think the eyes are supposed to light up and then the mouth and everything's supposed to move so let's go ahead and see where so quick tip but if you can't find where the batteries go like me uh, you have to basically kind of pull this apart and there's a little spot in the back here and the battery packs tucked inside there so that's where you're going to be looking just as a heads up for anyone else that needs to know because i didn't there's no instructions with this uh which would have been good if they included that but at least you found your way to this video and now you know where it goes okay so this is take two took a while to figure out where the batteries go after tearing apart the front and then finding it on the back there's a spot and then you press the wrist to activate the voice it's supposed to be right here. Huh. And then nothing happens. Well, that's weird. It's supposed to turn on. So something has gone wrong. Oh, okay. And this is gonna be a take three. Okay, so another important thing I just learned I was putting, I was trying to figure out where the batteries went. I uh, didn't realize there was actually an on switch too. So you got to turn that on before it's going to work. So don't forget to do that too. All right, batteries are in, switch is turned on, my fault. And now let's go ahead and see how it works. Bad ass. Love it. Friggin' cool. Ridiculously cool. 
accurate suit, bow ties accurate, it's got the pocket square, paint job is freaking stunning, eyes are red, lights up, and I personally can't get enough of the laugh, that was always my favorite part, really cool. Yeah, so to turn it on, you just press right here on the wrist. But absolutely ridiculously cool. And I'm glad they finally came out with one of these. Like I said, I wasn't too big of a fan of the other one. Uh, it's not bad, just I didn't like the paint job on those ones as much. Or this, I don't know if it's the same sculpt. I don't think it is, but uh, this one just looks dead on to the movie. Everything about it. The fingers are even posable. The limbs, uh, like I said, these shoes are perfect. There's the actual ruby slippers in the background there. Um, but yeah, I give it a 10 out of 10 easily. The only way they could have really improved it, I guess, is if they had done more phrases. But I'm, you know, <laughs> to tell you the truth, if it was me, I, I would have been happy with just the laughing one. I get such a kick out of that, just in general. That's so cool. But I uh, hope you guys like my review. And... Um, if you uh, want to see more videos, uh, reviews for trick-or-treat stuff in the future, just go ahead and let me know, and I will go ahead and try and get it out. Thanks. Like, oh, don't forget to like and subscribe, too. I'm trying to grow my channel a little bit. Thanks.